Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, the topic of today's episode, what's the topic, bro? So, election, yeah. Our brothers, our sisters, they're struggling. Yeah. So, they sent us in dilemmas, they sent us in their difficulties, and today we're just going to try get to the bottom of inshallah. And one of the ones we've got here, okay. So, his sister has said, Wanting to be closer with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, dealing with less of with the tasks of this world. It's an interesting one. I'll let you kick us off. Can you say that say it again? So she said, wanting to be closer to Allah, so she's struggling with getting closer yeah. to Allah, yeah. as well as you know, balancing that with dealing with the tasks of the dunya. Uh, what I can remember off the top of my head is the saying of Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him. He said, uh, work for your dunya as if you're going to live forever and the dunya is not going to run away from you you know what I mean and work for your akhira, for your afterlife as if you're going to die tomorrow you understand so make the work for the akhira urgent you get me and make the work for the dunya as if you know you're going to catch up 100%. it's not going to fly away you get me like it's, it's, it's permissible for us to look after your dunya as long as we do not neglect our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, and the first, I think the first step to strengthen your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to strengthen uh, your salah, to try and focus on your salah, to try and have khushu and tranquility in your prayers because salah literally means salah, a connection between you and Allah. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا تَقَرَّبَ لِعَبْدِي بِشَيْءٍ أَحَبَّ إِلَيَّ مِنَ مِنْ مَفْتَرَطُهُ عَلَيْهِ My servant did not, cannot come closer to me in something that is more beloved to me than the obligations. You understand? So if you have yeah, so how like I just remember the hadith. Every time it's in terms of you know working for this world, you know, Prophet Sallam he says, Kunfid dunya gharib sabil. So he says, be in this world as if you are a traveller or a stranger. And this is the mindset a lot of us need to develop. So I always ask the brothers and you know the sisters, if you go to a hotel, yeah. do you start to change the carpet? Do you start to you know paint the walls and you know put up different decorations, your family photos? No, you don't do this. Why? Because it'd be stupid. You're yeah. only here for a set amount of time. You're gonna go back to your house, you should focus on building your own home. Rather than bigger than a hotel, this is the same way we should look at the dunya. Yes, cool. You can order food to the hotel. You know, you can change a couple of things, and this is how it should be here as well. So yeah, we can fix a couple of things. Of course, it's also an obligation for us to take care of our families. Yeah. You know, to provide for our, our family as well. Yeah. Okay, but also you need to realize that this is just the hotel. So focus on your house. Focus on the akhir, that which is eternal. That way, you that's the place where you are gonna live forever. So brothers and sisters, we just need the balance. Okay, and it's not a 50-50 balance. Because it's it's not 50-50 when we're going to spend 60, 80 years if we're lucky here yeah. and then, you know, in eternity. So yeah. do the ratios and also apply the ratios in your in your real life. Sometimes we chase after the dunya, you know, and it's not in our hands. Our rizq has been written for us. You get me? Sometimes we make that our main priority. And then in the end, we only get what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for us and we don't find satisfaction here. But if we attach ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are content with whatever that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us, well, bro, we're going to be satisfied. You get me? 100%. And in terms of the system of wanting to get closer to Allah, I think there's a couple of methods that you can achieve when you want to get close to Allah. Number one is increase your ibadah. So try to do more acts of worship, even doing normal things, yeah, eating. If you purify your intention enough that, Ya Allah, I'm eating to have strength so I can, you know, worship you, there's a reward in that, bro, sister. And another thing as well, try remove your sins okay if you want to be closer to allah sin is the thing that takes us away from allah yeah. and you know ibadah is the thing that brings us closer so if you want to achieve closeness with allah you need to try as much as possible to reduce your sins why i say why i don't say stop your sins is because that's not possible no, Kulu bani Adam khata. Yeah. we're all sinners okay but the best of us are the ones who repent okay so let's just always be in a state like look at the Prophet so look how many times he used to seek istighfar from Allah this was the best man on earth he didn't need to he didn't sin you know look at us brothers and sisters okay so we're sinning on a daily basis and how many times do we say astaghfirullah rabbi ghfirli you know how many times do we ask Allah for forgiveness so if you want that closeness for Allah try to cut out as much sins as possible okay and even when you do sin or you don't still seek forgiveness from Allah and try to do as much ibadah as possible and to, to make it easier for you there's the types of ibadah, for example, you can make a word of Qur'an, like a precise section of the Qur'an that you can recite, or a precise amount of the Qur'an that you can recite every day. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ We have sent down from the Qur'an that which is a cure, you know, and mercy for the believers. And when you recite Qur'an, Wallahi, you will find here, you will be at peace, you get me? So try to, 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 to make a specific portion from the Qur'an where you can recite daily, you can increase in your salawat, your nafil salah, you can give charity. You know, because sometimes, bro, sometimes when we sin, yeah, mm. our heart becomes, uh, becomes rough. 
You know, when you listen to a reminder, you don't feel it. You get mm. me? And you're like, subhanAllah, I, I wish I go back to back in the day when my heart was soft. If yeah. I listen to a reminder, if I hear the Quran, you know, I feel it. Mm. You get me? You feel spiritual. So. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he says, if, if, if you're feeling like this, pat on the head of the orphan and feed the poor. You get me? When you give charity, and especially when you see the, if, like your charity, where it goes, you know, uh, that, that can soften your heart big times. Definitely, bro. I remember, you know, subhanAllah, all of the brothers and even Abdul Salam, when we were going to the trip with, on Egypt, right? So, you know, we've all, we were all at a stage where our iman wasn't high. Yeah. You know, we're more dunya focused, subhanAllah. Yeah. But wallahi, like, I've never felt more soft than, you know, seeing poor people. You know, even if you give them to us what's like a euro, it's yeah, really insignificant yeah, to yeah, us. The smiles on their face. 100%. Even the people, like, you see some of them working about 14 hours a day. Yeah. They're not even getting paid half what, you know, people here we get. And they're smiling, subhanAllah. Yeah. This is when you start to see that, you know, we're actually thinking, overthinking it too much, yeah. right? So this is how we should live a simple life, brothers and sisters. You know, sometimes I always say I'd love to just be a farmer, man. <laughs> Create my own food, subhanAllah. Be able to worship Allah for up. But yes, we're in the West, but we need that balance, brothers and sisters. You have to strike the balance, okay, <laughs> against your deen and your dunya. Should we move on? Yes, yes, let's hop on to it, bro.